So folks, you need to know this at home. Every single time tra Chad travels to Wisconsin, he brings the rest of us treats from his hometown. <laughs> That's true. So let folks in on some of the tasty prizes. So I used to work at a candy store mm -hmm. uh, in high school. So mm. I would go back and I have to get some of the homemade fudge, the peanut brittle. Yes. Um, and of course the staple, which is cheese. Cheese oh, curds, man. and they're so, curds. so good. So yeah. cheese, it's the thing in Wisconsin. Did you know that there are official tasters of cheese there? I mean, it makes sense, but I am not aware of them. It's like quality control? It is like quality control. In fact, mm. the job description is, are you ready for it? Descriptive <laughs> sensory panelist. Okay. That is the name. That is the official title for the position, which by the way, is part-time, although you do have three months of paid training. Okay. <laughs> It is a very kind of rigorous job. When the story went viral a little bit, people just kind of think, you know, you sit down, you taste some cheese, you say whether you like it or not. All right, so for example, this week, the tasters or the sensory panelists had 30 pizzas to evaluate. How does it taste? Yes, but also how does the cheese function? Like, does it actually like, you know, pull? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of what we're teaching them is to speak a common language. So think of like, um, how well does it go through a shredding machine? How well does it bake and you know brown, blister? How does the cheese stretch and melt and flow? People don't realize how much work goes into the food industry as far as like quality control and research and development. So if I dare say, it's not easy being cheesy. <laughs> you know, the way that he talked about this reminds me of uh, like a wine snobs. Yes, a oh, yeah. look, at, look at the legs on this <laughs> Yes, uh -huh. I mean, get real. But I mean, that's that's cool. I, I, I love that. It was almost like, you think this is easy, you try it, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> One key thing, though, that I learned from this story mm -hmm. is you know how you buy shredded cheese in the uh, grocery store, right? Yes. A lot of companies use potato starch to keep the shreds of cheese separate. Mm. And they say, when you see that, run very far away, that it is not real cheese and you should not buy it. So you know how sometimes you see the shredded cheese in the bag and you see it's got kind of like a white filmy kind yes. of thing? That's potato yeah. starch. And they're like, that's not good enough cheese to eat. Don't buy that. Sometimes, you know, when you're making a pizza or anything with shredded cheese, yes. you might get a munchie and you might want to snack on it. Uh -huh. Sometimes it doesn't taste that good. It's I have right. to say, right. or that's grimy. Correct. That might be the potato that, problem. That's the potato starch. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh -huh. And so maybe you should shred your own cheese. Of course, that takes a lot of time, right? I've started to do that. And I have to say, I think it tastes better. And I think it's actually a little cheaper Oh. if you do okay. it on your own. Do you know? <laughs> It keeps longer too if it's uh -huh. not pre-shredded. Sure. Sometimes when I'm at the grocery store, I see these huge wheels of cheese. They're like $195. <laughs> I'm like, what would I do with all this cheese? But there you have it. Some cheese doesn't go bad. If it's a hard cheese, That's true. it'll stay in for, for a long years, time. like a Parmigiano or something mm. like that. You're good to go. Right. Now, maybe it's not cheese that you'd like to be a taster of. What food item would you like to be a sensory panelist for? Oh, wow. Mm. Pizza. <laughs> I Pizza think this job looked fine Pizza or candy. Mm -hmm. The problem, I'm worried though that some of it's going to taste bad. It will right? taste bad. In fact, one of the ladies had an allergic reaction to one of the enzymes in one of the cheeses that they what? were tasting. Yes, because again, it doesn't always like come the right way. We're like human You know, lab come together here. the right so way. So here's yeah. the question though. Would you be willing to eat 19 really good or average pizzas knowing that there was going to be the 20th that just, it's kind of like bamboozled, you know, the game with the, the <laughs> yes, jelly oh, with the jelly bellies. Mm, that Are you stink. willing to like when you get really the Harry Potter beans yeah. to, to maybe get a bad one? So I asked on Facebook what you would want to be a taste tester for mm. or that panelist. And so here are a few of the comments. We have got um, everything. Sign me up. <laughs> then we've got chocolate, French fries. Ooh, I'm a fan. Yep. Mm. Ice cream. And at the very bottom, this person said Italian foods, Swedish foods, French foods, German <laughs> foods. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that all the foods. The all. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think chocolate's actually a probably good answer because I think sure. a lot of people, that might actually be helpful. I think they might need a chocolate tester. There's so many different kinds, you know, fancy chocolate okay, people. Yeah. Okay, like the really crazy folks chocolate. that like 92% or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. they want to test I can't it. tell the difference. So maybe I would be a good person because I'd be like, this is the same as that, that's mm. the same as that. Chad Silver says he doesn't like chocolate, but his favorite cake is a red, red velvet. velvet. <laughs> Goodbye, okay. we're going to break. Talk <laughs>